Hey guys, thank you so much for joining my channel with their fight story. Today we're going to be talking with Jose Medina who will be um, touching base in regards to fitness and lifestyle and why it's important to us as well as other options that we might have to get us. Hey guys, thank you for joining my channel, Their Fight Story, where we will be touching base on fitness and lifestyle. Here with us is Jose Medina that will explain to us certain things that we should be aware of. Hi everybody, Jose Medina here, a uh, healthcare professional. I'm joining uh, Dali here a segment to hopefully um, you know, bring you guys to speed on certain things that are beneficial for your health, wealth, wellness. And uh, overall, well, thank you for having me today. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule with the family. I know it's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can you tell us about um, the importance of fitness and lifestyle? Um, well, I think I think before you know we jump into uh, the benefits of fitness, which is given, um, we we should really talk about why fitness. White. Um, as we know, especially during these times right now, with uh, the coronavirus um, and all the other types of viruses that we deal with, whether it's the flu, you know, um, the common cold, um, a lot of these things attack our immune system. And if we think about our bodies and start talking about our immune system and whether we have a strong one or a, or a weak one, one of the things that pops up to automatically um, strengthen our immune system would be fitness. So this is why I say we should really focusing on why is fitness so great. People yes. always talk about the muscles, um, we talk about the six pack, we talk about losing a few pounds, but really it's about your immune system, your first defense against the invisible enemies, right? So we want to make sure you understand that if you are uh, looking to have a strong immune system, then fitness is essential. You know, you really need to have a fitness program together which will strengthen your immune system and put you in a position to be able to fight back. Yes. And what can people do to do that, to enforce that, to make it happen? Um, first thing is you have to make a choice. First is do you want to live a healthy life? Do you want to be in a position where you have to run to your house and close up behind closed doors because you have a weak immune system? Or do you want to have a fighting chance of living a normal life, enjoying the outdoors, not being scared of being around people because you know your immune system is strong and is up for the fight. So when it comes to fitness, things as basic things are as basic as you know jogging, you know walking, um, being outdoors is very beneficial. You know, obviously a lot of our um, access to health clubs with uh, good tools for us to exercise are, are not available to us. So mm -hmm. you know, in household, you know things like gallons of milk, gallons of water. You know, using, you know, books in a bag, um, buying some bands, you know, doing, you know, good old-fashioned push-ups, you know, um, body squats, lunges. There's a lot of things that you guys can do, you know, to get your body up to par. Now, the first thing is, like I said, is choice. You have to, you know, give, you know, you know what about yourself yes. to say up a program. Then it's about starting that discipline or that habit, you know, that of doing it three times a week, right? If you can do it every day, you know, God bless you, then you're on your way. But the reality of it is, is that if you can do it three to four times a week, yes, it's okay. Um, but it all starts with a choice. And I say that again because um, it's the same choice you have to make to not eat fried food. The same choice you have to make to not smoke cigarettes. It's the same decision you have to not abuse your body, you know, with unnecessary uh, amounts of alcohol, right? So you can't, on one side, say, I want to fight disease and I want to fight all these things that are, you know, scaring the crap out of me. But then you're at home eating Twinkies and fried chicken and smoking cigarettes, you know, but you're indoors. So, you know, certain viruses won't get you, but you're killing yourself with cancer, yeah. um, cancer producing elements, right? So you have to make a choice. That choice goes beyond, you know, exercise. It goes to nutrition. It goes to your environment, you know. Uh, unhealthy relationships, that's not good for your immune system. Um, you know, being in in, uh, in situations where you're constantly arguing with people or in negative or back and forth arguments, all those things play a role into how your body 
is then able to then be in a, in a good place to fight back. So it's a lot of things. You know, it's not just dumbbells. You know, there's a lot more. So I want to encourage everybody to kind of take a good look at their overall environment and then start, you know, addressing each and every one of them. And ultimately, you'll have a healthier and a happier lifestyle. What can people do? Um, well, I mean, given the stay-at-home order, you know, stress is an indicator. You know, that can you know affect the immune system. The way people eat can affect the immune system. What options do people have that could probably help them, even just guide them a little bit better on the right path of improving their immune system, while mm -hmm. also improve, improving their own lifestyle? Well, that's. That's a really good question because, um, and I've experienced this myself, you know, when you are quarantined the way we are, you get bored. And when you get bored, all of a sudden, you start getting antsy. You want to pick at things. Yes. You know, baggage, you know, that's been stored away for six months. Now, you know, it's a one-shot deal. You're done with the bag of chips. So you want to start cleaning out and, and making healthy choices. Number one, um, start, you know, get a big gallon of water. So when you have those urges, you know, you, you know, you have those um, those cravings, you can drink water. You know, that suppresses um, those, those you know, that desire to have that chip or you know whatever on candy, whatever on top food you have. So you gotta understand automatically in, increase your intake of water. Um, get some good fruits and vegetables in mm -hmm. your house. So if you have, if you decide something, you have those available. Um, you want to take healthy snacks like yogurts. Um, you know, clean meats, and just stay away from you know not not being productive. Not, not if you have too much time on your hand, you're going to make the wrong choices. So you know, the exercise will occupy your time. You know, reading books will occupy your time. Drink water will keep you from you know from the cravings. Those are some basic things that you can do, and and incorporate everybody in your household. If there's more than one person in your household, you know, talk about hey, why don't we why don't we take this time to get healthy? Yeah. Hey, why don't you do some support? Yeah. You know, in my house, everybody here, they're doing this little challenge amongst themselves. And they're, you know, every day, hey, have you drank water? Hey, how much weight have you lost? You know, hey, how are you feeling? Hey, how many hours of you know, sleep did you get? So now we're occupying our time by creating a, like, a workout environment, if you, would, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we're cooking healthier. You know, we had our run. You know, the first couple of weeks, it was nuts, you know. I was eating every cookie and every you know, ice cream <laughs> that I could. You know? And my wife cooks a lot of desserts, so it's like, yeah. hey, can you make a, hey, can you make you know some cookies, you know, the real soft ones? So <laughs> it, what we go through during this, this circumstance, and it doesn't help, because then you start feeling bad about yourself, right? Now you're like, oh my God, look how I look, look how yeah. I feel. You know, and if you're in a relationship and all of a sudden the intimacy gets affected because you're not looking as good as you did before the quarantine, all of a sudden, you're spiraling into all this negativity and you're stressing out, and it's not helping. So if we use this time uh, to be better, right, so that we're improving and we're, we're, we're taking the time that we didn't have before to apply it, all of a sudden, you know, when things get back to normal, we're that much better off. Mm -hmm. you know, we're sharper, you know, we have these new habits, and, um, and just life is just a lot better. Okay. Now, what mini um, workouts can people do, especially like when they have um, little kids? How can they, because kids get bored like really quickly, you know, we can only do it for a certain amount of time. What can we do for our kids to have them have fun while we're all trying to exercise to kind of like bring down the stress level, build up the immune system all at the same time? Well. Um, if your kids are old enough to participate, you want to make it happen. Uh, a quick way to do that is play music. Find out what silly music they love, right? Kids mm -hmm. like to jump around. So, you know, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. The one-year-old is harder to manage than the three-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. But they both go crazy when we play music. So we play music, some fun music, right? Um, like, what's that? Um, Daddy Shark, you know, all that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Baby Shark or... Yeah, but so we put that music on, and while they're doing that, you know, Scarlett will be doing the, the, the jumping jacks, right? And they're dancing. They don't know what's going on. I think Mommy's dancing, but she's really doing jumping jacks, right? And then to the next 
and then she's doing the body squash. Well, then the three-year-old starts copying the body squash, right? Because he wants to imitate what mom is doing. And then the little one's just bobbing up and down, but he's out of the way. He's just kind of like, hey, we're having fun. Mm-hmm. Um, it's important to keep the workout short. Uh, if you do anything, you know, past, honestly, 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, I think you kind of like create a problem where the kids are nagging you and they're like, mommy, mommy, and then they go, daddy, and they're bothering you. Whereas if you keep it short and you're barely resting, you hear yourself like, man, thank God this is over, right? You got a great workout. And the kids are not really like, like, oh, boy, here we go. The music is playing. Here we go again. 45 mm-hmm. minutes of help. You know, they're just like, no. Nah. It's the fun. So I think if you apply music, make it fun for them, for the kids, right? And then keep your workouts short but high intensity, right? So you're resting barely 20 seconds between sets. And you just went bang, 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 bang. And, and you're doing it at a high level. Then I think you can get a lot of bang for your buck. And, and the kids are able to enjoy it as well and partake. Okay. Now, you've um, worked with a few fighters. Now, what would you tell them as far as everything that's happening right now? What is the best way to kind of like maintain themselves until Mm -hmm. they get back? Because I know a lot are trying to do their own workouts from home, you know, because now they have limited access to the gyms. Um, What can they do, not just um, as a workout, but to maintain kind of like their stress level so it doesn't affect their immune system, it doesn't affect um, their mental state because, you know, fighters need to have a a good mental state in order to train and do all that. What would you suggest for them? I think this is a great time to work on conditioning, you know, Um, and I think it's a great time to work on stretching and pliability, kind of, especially the MMA fighters where there are a lot of times put in positions where if they get overly Mm -hmm. corrected. I need, they might have a need to tap out, whereas if they become more pliable, it might make them more resistant to be able to figure out what you know what situation they're in. But I think if fighters now are focused more on the conditioning, they don't have the, the craziness, distractions of like work and all these other things, so they can focus in on a good cardio program, right? Yeah. They're pretty much empty now. So put a headset on, you know, run for a couple of hours, come back, and then work on some stretching, and then like always. Oh, Good old fashioned push ups and pull ups and mm-hmm. I think and also hey listen, I would put on some some movies, believe it or not, the old school Rocky movies mm-hmm. with Woods in the Mountains and he's chopping, you know, he's chopping woods. Um, I would do projects at home that require a lot of physical labor. You saw what I was doing, that means the crap out, you know, at the house, you know, doing some physical labor. So if they can focus on just doing some functional movements, right? Functional movements that they're doing things at home but they're in movements that are like exercises, right? Mm-hmm. So if they could try to just get creative, um, if they have battle ropes available, that'd be great, you know? Um, if they have stuff in their house that they can lug from one side to the other, um, you know, if they have a wheelbarrow or anything that moves that they can load up with a lot of weight and just move those things so they can yes. work on their leg. There's a lot of little things they can do, rocks. If there's a lot of rocks around, move rocks from one place to another, you know, kind of like the strongman competition where they carry a lot of stuff on yeah. them, where they just hit, box on them and stuff like that. They just need to get creative and uh, keep that mind positive. Like, I'll tell this to any fighter. Use this opportunity to work on areas of opportunity, areas that you know you lack in, right? So that way when things get fun and exciting again and they're open again, you already know what you can do well. So if you're good at striking, then you should focus on grabbing, right? If you're good at the kicking, then focus on the punching. If you're if you're a little tight, hey, focus on your stretching. If yeah. But sit down, you're windy. Work on your conditioning. So I think just taking a practice, basic approach. Also, um, the opportunity this time to let your body heal. You know, a lot of times fighters are going from one fight back to fully recuperated, and they're going. So they're always fighting at 80 percent of themselves, right? So give yourself a chance to be 100 percent again, mentally, physically, emotionally. Uh, and then once things get back to normal, you know, you'll be you'll be back to like a perfect starting point for yourself, like you were when you first began. Nice. Um, before um, this, the stay-at-home order happened. You were going to accompany one of the fighters to their weigh-ins. What was it that um, you were going to try to provide for fighters before all of this happened? And will you be continuing, or will you continue to do this once everything goes back to normal? 
Oh man, that was so exciting. Uh, we have an awesome fighter that we're sponsoring. Uh, he's a phenomenal guy. I know you know him well and, and everybody knows him well. Um, what we're going to do for him is, as you guys know, when you guys are prepping for fights and you're trying to make weight, a lot of these guys really <coughs> walk off. Right? They just they fleet themselves of all the mm -hmm. water, uh, try to make weight. And as you guys know, you guys run a risk of you know kidney failure and uh, other yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do for our fighter was we're gonna be there for him. So when he went to his one a.m. immediately after we're gonna have an eat for him with all the essential minerals and to get him hydrated right back without him having to chug like a bunch of water, right? So all this gator and all this crazy, which was just gonna blow him and not make him feel obviously too too good, right? So we're gonna be able to provide him with IV an IV treatment uh, following his weigh-in, even following his weigh-in. And um, once we get that going, we want to provide it for all the fighters. We don't want it to be just, you know, for our camp. We want it to be accessible to everyone. Uh, and beyond the IV treatment, we want to make sure that all the fighters have access to good uh, wellness practices, you know, understand more about the, the benefits of essential amino acids, you know, and all the vitamins and minerals that we can get through food, uh, but sometimes it's just easier and quicker to get them through either an IV process or through other... Um, other processes that we also have. So um, we will be, once this thing is, has been, you know, stay at home board has been lifted and been normalized, uh, we will be starting to make our way to the fight scene and make ourselves accessible and visual so we're able to understand more and more of what we bring, you know, to, to the scene and how we're able to help everyone, athletes, you know, stay at home moms, you know, the weekend warrior, bodybuilders, uh, anybody, you know, professional, competitive, what we're able to provide. But at the very beginning, we're going to be um, helping out our fighter with his, um, his IV treatments, along with some other vitamins and essential amino acids that he can eat. A uh, good diet plan. We're also going to be focusing on his diet plan and coaching, um, as well with some of his strength regimen. So, yeah. So, you're going to be helping, you're going to be providing assistance for the fighters before the fights. And as well, you also have a. I always say this wrong. Cryo machine? Oh, yeah. So uh, that... Uh, I'm sorry, it, 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 it died out. What were you saying? So it's a whole, it's a whole body cryotherapy chamber. And it's specifically, um, for us, it's really there. Uh, it has a lot of benefits, but we have it uh, for pain management. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we already had some fighters that we were also sponsoring um, before all this happened months ago, um, and they were using it for they were doing such crazy training, you know, for their fights, mm -hmm. big title fights. Uh, so their training was just it was like beating themselves up before the big fight, right? So they would come to us and we put them in the crowd, crowd therapy chamber, and they would literally reset them. The next day they're 100 percent back to normal, you know, joints are feeling great, everything's feeling mm -hmm. fantastic. So they were able to keep their training levels to the, you know, to the highest mm -hmm. intensity while bringing their body every time back to 100%. Uh, so we are, uh, we do have that as well for our fighters and other Yeah, I know, because I see that's a great opportunity for the fighters to have help before the fights and then after the fights, depending how they are, they can reset themselves, heal, because after that, some need to take some time off, you know, to recuperate, to get their bodies back. So I figured it's a great opportunity for them to know that there are op options out there. Not only that, you brought up an interesting, interesting point. Not only that, but a lot of fighters, when they're done, they don't know the extent of their damage. You know, they don't mm -hmm. know if they're okay, right? Some are okay or if they're really messed up. So think about this, right? You know, LeBron James, you know, Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather, perfect person, Floyd Mayweather, he's a fighter. He gets out of a fight, he goes into the <coughs> chamber, he comes out, he's like, all right, I know what's good and what's not, right? Mm -hmm. If he do that, the next day he could wake up and he could be like, Dad, I don't know if I have internal bleeding. I don't know if I broke my wrist. I don't know if this if something hurts, something's wrong with my back. He doesn't really know. Okay, now we got to do all these tests, all these things. So you do a crowd, uh, crowd, crowd session, and the next day you're like, oh, wow, you know, I thought I had hypertension in my elbow. But it's feeling good right now, you know, so I guess that that's okay. You know, I can keep on, you know, um, doing some sessions, some therapy, and I think I'm going to be all right. However, my ribs might be cracked, but this is not going away, right? So we're able to really help people 
minimize any type of issues that are going on in their body because it's just too much, right? It's kind of a fight. I don't know what is over the top and what is kind of minimal. So now they do this therapy and then they can hone in on what's really important. And if something that they thought was, ah, it's not a big deal, I'll feel better in a couple of days and it doesn't go away, now they can say, wow, maybe it is a bigger deal than I thought. So that's another way that our fighters use, uh, and not only fighters, but our basketball players. As you know, we have a basketball mm-hmm. player just got, just got picked up by UMass, and this guy's going to be an NBA prospect, amazing kid. So this is what he uses for sport, right, after his games. We had a whole girls team that was going national, also competing in basketball. They were using it for that. Ice skating competition, hockey. We have golfers that have big tournaments. They're not exactly 20, 25 years old, right? Mm-hmm. So these they play a, a ton of their body. So they do the session, and they're able to do you know, their tournaments and feel great. So um, we hope that we're able to help out the fighters beforehand and right after, you know, mm-hmm. as, as obviously something to help them diagnose how their body is. Well, that's great news. I mean, this is definitely going to be a new era for the fighters. Um, for mentally, because now they don't have to worry too much about their recovery. Like, mm-hmm. they're cutting weight. They're mentally strained. They're overwhelmed with all this. So this is a great way to not overdo it and kind of not lose their, um, their like, sight. Because sometimes they could forget, oh, I'm not supposed to drink, you know, cold water. It's supposed to be room temperature water. You know what I mean? So that can help them get where they need to be, less stress. And then even the recovery process, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I think of it as a, as a great advantage for our fighter. Almost like, oh, damn, like that. Yeah, our boy's gonna, he's gonna be good. Uh, whereas others have to struggle with, you know, kind of messing around with, with how do they get their body hydrated again, um, you know, before anything goes wrong. And only that, the peace of mind, right? Yes. You want to know, right? You want to know. So if you're doing your weigh-in and you know that you were just like down to like a lick of water, you want to know mm-hmm. that you just got everything back in your body the way it was supposed to be. Once that, you get off that chair. To go and proceed through your day, through your night, through the fight. Yes. Hope that your body's okay. You know what I mean? Hoping that that punch that you felt in the back was actually a punch and not your kidney saying, I'm done. You know? Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's pretty important. You know? So we want to make sure that, you know, once we get everything going and, and everything is situated, we want to make sure we make, uh, uh, we provide all the information the fighters need. Um, this is all about helping. You know, it's about being able to provide people with new information. A lot of things that we do um, with uh, with Body Symmetry MD, you know, a lot of things that we do is make people aware and provide new knowledge. You know, you don't know what you don't know. And a lot of the things that a lot of us, not just fighters, but humans in general, a lot of the stuff that we don't know is what is what's causing us to, to live so miserable in terms of our energy levels, our enthusiasm, right, our motivation for life, um, you know, how good we are in whatever endeavors we love to do, you know, whether it's playing sports, whether mm-hmm. it's just exercising, you know, for pure joy. But all of a sudden you start seeing things kind of diminishing. You're like, wow, why, why do I suck? I, I was great, you know, a couple of years ago. Why is it that I'm diminishing? Oh, well, well, it, it, sometimes there are other underlying um, circumstances that are causing you to feel that way. And so what we're going to be able to do is provide people with information so that if they choose to do something about it, right, if they choose to say, no, I want to be who I was, you know, a few years back or further, right, depending on how old you are, then they can make that choice and we can provide them the information and the resources for them to be their very best. Again, we're, we're talking about fighters, which they need to be at their very best mm-hmm. all the time, but you're not going to fight forever, right? At some point, you're going to stop fighting, but you're going to want to continue feeling as good as you did when you used to punch the bag or roll mm-hmm. on the mat and do what you did. And so you need to know what things contribute to that internal what contribute to you being your very best you know despite what people might think you know holding up a belt is a great emotion right but what got you to win that belt was something totally different right yeah. so whatever motivation excitement whatever drove you all that all that time to invest all that hard earned work into that needs to remain in your life forever what you're going to do roll over and that's it Mm-hmm. Or say, out to just with the clicker. You know, we have to. This is why Mike Tyson, right? We were just talking about oh, Mike yes. Tyson. Earlier. Can't wait. What? He's like, man, I, 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 it's been too long, man. Look how great he looks and how great he feels, right? 
But why did it take so long for him to get up? Right? Why was he down for so long after so many years of being on top of the world and being as great as he was? Why was it that he didn't care anybody? And we could, we could, that could be a whole other topic, right? You know, <laughs> where he wasn't laughing, yada, yada, yada. But the end all be all point is that when we're fighters and competitors and we're athletes, there's always something that makes you say, you know, well, man, I got to sit down for a second. If not, yeah. Tom Brady would have been retired three years ago, right? So yeah. why is he still <clears throat> nuts about where he's at in life? You know what I'm saying? So um, there's a lot going on. I don't want to um, you know, spend a lot of time on that right now, but we'll be able to find a lot of information that are going to make a lot of people say, ah, I get it. Oh, that makes sense. No wonder. And that's where we're going to be everybody's best friend. Awesome. Um, before we wrap up, do you want to say anything and also give us your social media um, use uh, tags and stuff so people are able to reach out to you and get information? Yeah, I mean, at this time, we don't really, we're not doing anything huge with uh, social media. A lot of my social media stuff is really, you know, family and friends, personal mm -hmm. hobbies. And um, but uh, pretty soon, I know through you, through your uh, sources will be uh, announcing some some things once we start you know getting prepared to open. Um, I am I, at the current time I am able to help and counsel people and kind of give some information out. So anyone that's looking for some information can feel free uh, to email me at uh, j s e m d n at gmail dot com. It's an abbreviation of my first and last name. So it's uh, j s e m d n at gmail dot com. Um, or you can also uh, my my uh, Instagram it's uh, Mr. Fit Form uh, at Mr. Fit Form um, and again you can use that as a way to DM me. Um, I have some stuff in there uh, in regards to like the cryotherapy, uh, but for more cryotherapy information or um, kind of uh, up to date offers and discounts and, and promos that we have, uh, you can go to E Cryo Cold Therapy uh, that's at E Cryo Cold Therapy on Instagram. Um, and I handle that, so yeah, any DMs, they are able to respond to it well. Um, we're looking to be opening pretty soon. It looks like, you know, potentially the, the health clubs and, you know, you know, businesses like ours will be, you know, on their phase one to open. Okay. Um, whether it's Monday or whether it's in a week or two or whenever it is, we'll be available and accessible. Um, and again, if anyone has any questions, you know, they, they can definitely ask you. Um, and you feel free to obviously provide any information. Uh, but at the current time, in terms of um, our body symmetry MD clinic that we are uh, preparing to open in the near future, um, we are not launched yet on that side of it. Make sure that everything is ready to go on time. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. I will Absolutely. be, if you can send me actually an email or a text with all the tags, that way I can insert that so people can have it. Um, I would really appreciate it. Sounds good. Thank you. God bless you, and I will talk to you soon. Blessings. Take care, everybody.